friendly reminder that every other episode of this series is posted to Pokemon 7 Plays, including the episode right before this one. Make sure you're subscribed to Pokemon 7 Plays so you don't miss any episodes of this series. The link to his channel is in the description below. Greetings, Spooky fans! It is I, Michael here. And what is up, guys? It is I, John, or Pokemon here. Dude, you gotta, you gotta prep your intro oh, and like, no start it like as I okay. finish mine, because there's always this pause. There's this little bit of a pause in between. Yeah, but sometimes that's just like a little bit of a lag between, you know, like- So that's why you start earlier. Oh, you just want me to like guess it? You want me to- Yes, yeah, like so, when I'm, so, like, so let's let's try it again. All right, greetings, Pokey fans. Michael here. What is up, guys? This is John, AKA Pokemon. Not quite there. I, I did it like, wow. wow. Okay, so, so I guess you, it was a let's, little- Let's try the opposite. You do your intro, I'll show you. That, I mean, that won't show me. I just I just need to guess. I Like, I get what you're saying. I just have to guess at this point. Because because my the ears things, won't hear any- the, thi the things I deal with to entertain you people. I, 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 what do you not understand? If you do it correctly and I'm listening, all I'm going to hear is that it sounds like you said it immediately after me. I don't get to tell when you guessed because I can't hear what you hear. You, you clown. You second so what you're Clown. saying is that I am completely right. Yeah, I, I was always agreeing with you. Also, John, we are 100% gonna have to do the gym in this episode. I, like you were John? like, we've got a lot of stuff to do before the gym. No, we don't. <laughs> well, you go, the whole point of Pokemon games, you have to train up to go against the gym. So we just go and take on the trainers. Yeah, of which there's like three. I think there's more than three. Maybe there's four. Dude, do you know how long some of these battles take? Okay, fair. But still, <laughs> there's no way it takes us half an hour. I don't know, man. I I just didn't want us to have level 18 Pokemon battling the level 13 trainer. It, we're in a little bit of an awkward spot. We just gotta, it's like the intro. We just have to, you know, kind of get get through it. You know, the Our game like you is- Impeccable. <laughs> I need See, to go that way. All right. I, you know, I, I'm obliterating Pokemon. My ID, uh, Dino's getting like two and a half levels. Yeah, I think it's a great over here. I'm just relaxing, man. I'm taking it, I'm taking it easy. Sometimes you just gotta, yeah, I chillax, man. It's, it's, the, it's the kids, that's what they say these days, chillax. It's this new confangled term, uh, you, you see? Oh my God, John, shut up. <laughs> 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 I was Chillax really has literally been around since I was born. Yeah, probably much earlier. Uh, probably. Yeah, you are only what, uh, 13 this year? I mean, that's probably the age of my heart. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. I, I got a comment on a video of mine. I think uh -huh. it was like the rarest Pokemon in every game video, so a lot of comments from randos. And it, uh. Sure. It said, this guy looks like he's 13 and 30 at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess was like, uh, so I guess average is out to in the 20s? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what he meant, what he means. I, he was probably try. I see, I don't know if he was trying to be mean and did a bad job or was just trying to like remark on something with it like not being mean but also like kind of messed up because it's like it's neither like a nice thing or a mean thing it's just kind of like a weird statement <laughs> yeah exactly i like didn't know how to feel about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, and those are the comments that stick with you because you're like what, what what did he mean huh because <laughs> you're like thinking about it trying to understand it it's so much easier when people are just like normally mean because it's like, oh, I don't care at all. Like, I'm just gonna write this off and move on. Yeah. Well, it's like, eh. Th this guy then very like insert weirdly specific random thing. It's like, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. You can't say that. Third, ooh, an Azelf here. Very interesting. Wait. That'll give me all the experience. Oh, it's not it here. It went boom! It's going boom! Make it not go boom. Tell it to stop right now, Mikey. Tell it to stop. Tell what it. Did, wait, t stop. Stop right yeah, now. Yeah, you did. No, it was too late. You said stop too late. I died. Damn it. Wait, you died? Yeah. What you happened? said it earlier. Well, he, he went boom. The, the Azelf exploded? Yeah. 
Well, that's fun. Y yeah. You could have stopped it. I, I could not have. You told me too late. Oh, okay. boy. Need to kill this Blastoise. It's got Ice Ball. Thankfully, I've got Keldia, who I think four times resists it, but still. Yeah, I... I need to just follow in your footsteps and just do the, like, none of these Pokemon matter to me, they're beneath me, beyond my favorites. It's a, it's a, a, a tried and true, you know what, I'm never giving up on Tiny, I can't give up on Tiny or Chloe. You've that. named them? <laughs> I know, the, we have to, Pokemon? we have to name oh. them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, uh, I'm not an elitist with my Pokemon, I like them all. Uh, Mr. Uh, talking about, you don't remember the names from the anime. Pfft. You watched enough of the anime to like, learn the names from it, then you've seen enough to know that we value all Pokemon around here. Guy. As much as that, it would be nice if that was true, some just kind of suck. Like yeah, for me, but... it's like, I have Keldeo, who is going to be on the team the entire playthrough. And then what? if I have a Keldia, why would I ever use a Tortuga who will take forever to become a Karakasta or a uh, Luminion who's just not a good Pokemon? Oh, uh, I mean, it, no, I I mean, those, that's fair. And also the bad Pokemon I have, I just legitimately like, but I also definitely legitimately like a lot more Pokemon than you do. That's like, fair. Cause if, if there's bad Pokemon, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of your thoughts on bad Pokemon is it's a bad Pokemon and that's where the thought begins and where the thought ends. Yeah. When also like, if we played, if we both played Pokemon together as kids, I, you are gonna stack your team with every legendary you can find. I hated getting legendaries in games. I thought it was really, really cheap and ridiculous that everybody who plays gets a legendary. There's supposed to be one. That's just a silly concept to me. Yeah, I mean, so I like, so I didn't use legendary successively. I certainly didn't stack my team with every legendary possible, but like mm -hmm. most playthroughs, I had at least one. Like I would mm -hmm. often use the box legendary on my team. Right. And still kind of do to this day in like my first playthrough. Um, like I remember in Emerald, the first time I played through Emerald and I discovered that I could go catch a level 70 Rayquaza prior to the league, I was like, oh, game changer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this means I don't have to spend eons grinding my team to get them to a usable level, which was always <laughs> miserable. Yeah. Um, and so I used the Rayquaza and it wasn't easy because like the rest of my Pokemon were kind of under leveled, but I used Rayquaza to beat the league the first time in the, uh, in that game and it was absolutely worth it. But then like, and like my first Ruby playthrough was just my Sceptile until I got Groudon and then I beat the league with Groudon. Wait, you just your and only Sceptile. the Sceptile? Yeah, Sceptile was the only like Pokemon <laughs> I used, yeah. <laughs> okay. And I was, I was like, absolutely, I was having a mental breakdown worried about the Flannery gym. But then I realized, but then I was just like, you know what, I'll try and I'll, you know, do the thing I did with Brawly. If I lose, I just turn off and turn it back on again. Um. <laughs> And uh, I uh, set what didn't occur to me was I had a Sceptile for Flannery's gym uh -huh. and her highest level Pokemon is 29. Uh huh. And so I crushed her <laughs> with just a Sceptile. <laughs> I was like thinking like, I'm gonna have to like train like a Meryl or something like that. I, that was not necessary. <laughs> you have like a level 50 Sceptile like, ah, what do I do? Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't up to 50, but I was like obviously high enough to be a Sceptile, so at least 36. Right. And then like something above that. Oh, man. Oh, dude. What? One of the possible wild encounters here was a Gliscor. Ooh, that'd be cool. Oh, I would have had an absolute aneurysm of excitement. But no, no Gliscor for me. Well, I mean, see, th there we can, uh, we, we agree on a non-legendary Mon that is very cool. Uh, look, look at us, wow. Verbal meme, look at us. Can we just give a shout out to the earlier generations of Pokemon for being stupid and giving so many Pokemon absolutely terrible movesets? Isn't that, but that, that, I mean, that's a good thing and also a bad thing. Cause then our Pokemon got bad movesets. Wait, wait, what? Well, how is that possibly a bad thing? A good thing? It's bad. Like I wanted you, if you want to oh, use you a said Scyther. A when you, 
Usually when you give a shout out, like it's like, you know, you're like oh, shouting. Oh, it's, it's a sarcastic, the... ironic shout out. Ah, uh, see that's okay. Now, now we're on the page, same page. Gotcha, gotcha, continue. Yeah, like the, like, Pinsler and Scyther in Gen 1 do not learn any bug type moves. <laughs> Dude, nothing learns bug moves in Gen 1. It's I just know, like, nothing um... does, it's stupid. But like, even then in like Gen 3, it's like playing through Coliseum, there's so many shadow Pokemon that are like, ooh, can I use this Piloswine? No, you can't, no. it doesn't learn any ground moves. <laughs> Dude, wow, me and this Pineco just exchanged water pledges back to back on the same turn, that was freaky. This what Gibble's happened? going for Ice Ball now. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. I, I have not had a plethora of luck. Okay, yeah, some good damage. Come on, Chloe, come on, Chloe. Come Which on. one's Chloe? Oh, that's the one at my mom's house. Oh, oh I Chloe is the, the Hound dog. Doom, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thought you were asking which like doggo was that in my life? I was like, ah, oh, that's a fair question. Well, let me tell. I you. mean, I guess I was, I was like, pretty sure Chloe was the dog one, because it's like, why would you ever name a Pokemon Chloe if it wasn't a reference to like an animal? You know? Right. Because it's just like, like, yeah. Let me just name my Pokemon Dennis. You know, like, <laughs> they like just some random name. But then I was like, okay, that's got to be the dog one. I'm pretty sure Chloe is the Houndoom, but I'm not positive. You know? Yeah. Oh, phew, Ice Ball finally ended. Oh, God, okay. Oh, man, this has not been going great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, oh, that, that, that's the team. We're doing this again, but... Whew. Well, John, I've what? officially defeated all the trainers in the Verbank Complex. Dude, I haven't even gotten close. So, I mean, how about you take that good luck and stick it up your butt, man? That's Those are my thoughts. That doesn't you sound very fun. No, it's not. I don't want it to be fun. And if it is fun, make it not fun. Okay? I'm not having fun. I'm very much running out of potions. I just found some sketchy guy hanging, like, by the water. Just be like, hey, man, this is a good deal. Why don't you trade <laughs> your Pokeball for my Great Ball? <laughs> and it's like, what? Yeah, it is a good deal, but why are you doing this? <laughs> why are you being so sketchy about it? I don't understand. I, I mean, you know, he just might be really dumb. It's He yeah. thinks he's pulling one over. Like, he's pulled this trick for years, and he's like, oh, another sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, no one's had the, tar the heart to break it to him. Just like, oh, look at Timmy over there. Up to his old tricks. Yes, this, this sketchy Pokeball dealer. His name is Timmy. <laughs> I mean, hey, his parents didn't know he was going to grow up to be a dumb, dumb, sketchy man. I mean, they were just like, Timmy, off you go. And this is what he became. <laughs> I mean, they never they never tell you what becomes of, you know, the Pokemon trainers that don't make it. The ones that get stomped at the first gym. I mean, they got to do something with their lives. Well, they're the ones who get real jobs. Yeah, I mean, but well... I mean, not everybody in the Pokemon world gets to go off and, you know, become a Pokemon trainer. That's, it's, it seems as if that's a very special thing. Yeah. So, I, I think, I don't know how they determine who becomes a Pokemon trainer and who's a lame-o dum dum pants. Maybe it's the same way, like, like professional athletes. You just either have it or you don't. It's like, huh, can you jump 40 inches? Nope. Got the regular job guy, and in this, I don't know what the, the how they figure it out. Maybe it is just the like incredibly athletic people. They're like, I well, I guess we don't have sports, so I, I don't know. Just run and jump and do cool things as your Pokemon fight, and that's, that's <laughs> how you use that. It's like I think probably like a lot of kids get to go on like journeys, and if their journeys don't go well, they like can't beat gym leaders and stuff. They just yeah, but, like, all right, come back, go to real school. But what if, I mean, I mean, there are like people that like, you know, let's let's see yeah, sports ball, right? You know, people that maybe were like D1, but don't make it to like the, the really big professional league, but then they kind of hang on at like semi pro level for a long time. I mean, there's got to be Pokemon trainers like that, you know, yeah. just, like, maybe that's what the, like maybe that's what the ace trainers are that like hang out ah, in the victory road. You okay, know? yeah, you're like good enough to test people going up to the league, but not good enough to like beat the league themselves. Right. Maybe they think they can, but they they won't, because they're 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 stuck there. Yeah. No. I, I I like that explanation. Also, Mikey, I don't know how you've gotten through any trainer, dude. I like I am having 
a miserable time trying to beat any Pokemon. Like I can't beat anything. I'm out of potions. Like it, I, nothing is working out. Have you have, have you had any fainting other than the explosion? No, just like a lot of just sadness. <laughs> like that. I mean, I have a Keldeo and a Mewtwo, so like. Well, but also like that, you can have the best Pokemon in the world. You also have to get good attacking moves and yeah. then not bad luck. Yeah, true. Like, has, nothing's exploded on you and done that crazy damage. Nothing's, like, rolled out or, like, ice balled yet or anything. Well, uh, I had an ice ball, but my Keldia was the one up against right. it, and so therefore yeah. it four times resisted it. Well, what level are your Pokemon at? Uh, let me see. After defeating all the trainers that I can right now, Keldia and Mewtwo are 15. Yeah, that will do it. Uh, Exeggutor is 13. The other two are 5. I feel like I just have to go challenge the gym. Like I'm under level, but it's like I have nothing else to do. I mean, you do you do you, you man. Yeah, but you do you. I'm you know I'm I'm losing my my words. Do whatever you want, pal. You know I'm just here having a good time, chatting back and forth, training up my mons. Not yeah. a, not a care in the world. You know. Pokemon. <laughs> She's like saying that. She's like, oh, hey. Yeah, she's saying P O K E M O. Why is another one of my? Why do I keep getting paralyzed? I hate this. All right. Can I fight her? Oh boy. Okay, I can train. Okay, there are two gym trainers. Okay, I thought there wasn't for a second. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, I was. I was surprised that you weren't just going to battle them, but also there's more than three trainers in the spot. Did you just like demolish all of them luckily? Like what happened? Well, I beat one of them last episode. Okay. I'm gonna beat all the other ones this episode. Ah, uh, you just and didn't have an issue with a single trainer? Nope. Oh, uh, nuts. I'm you're gonna get a body on the an escavalier. And now I have to take a bounce from it. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great. Yeah, no, that's what yeah, that's why you had to train up on the wild grass mods. You had to you had to get your bad luck out of the way. You can't just decimate everything in front of you and be like, ah, time to go under level to the gym. I uh, mean, I'm uh, over leveled for this escavalier. Ah, uh, OK. I mean, I suppose yeah, I could do some wild battles. Yeah, just re regale the. F oh, I got another crit death. Yeah, dude, things are going terrible. <laughs> this is like unreal. <laughs> Like my entire team's basically dead. Like I can't beat any of these wild Pokemon. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah, this is dead. not fun. Jeez. All right, finally a move that is good against the Pokemon I faced. Jeez, I'm guessing you also must have faced like a lot of weak Pokemon too, because like I just went against a, a Kling Clang, like a fully evolved Mon at 13, which was not fun. Steel types are not fun in Metronome. Oh my god, this is Scavalier! Jesus! Uh, speak of the devil. Uh, yeah, it's, well, actually, no, actually, it's a normal type right now. It used conversion. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's just like... It's it's just like... Keeps getting super effective moves on Kelio. It's gotten Mega Drain and Bounce. Uh-huh. And I'm just not hitting it. My Fire Spin just missed. Fire Spin wouldn't have been four times. Now it's getting extra sensory. Like, what the hell? It's gotten so many super effective moves on Keldeo. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I told you, man. Like, you, you can't just decimate the trainers. I, I, it's gonna, it flips, man. It and flips. And it keeps healing. It just got Morning Sun. Are you kidding? We're, we're going to Mewtwo. I was worried about using Mewtwo because of the bug typing, but now that it's a normal type, I just, I need to pressure this thing. It's just not- You also haven't lost just got the synthesis, Pokemon. synthesis, dude! What the hell? I've lost two Pokemon this episode. I'm not impressed by your Mon that is slightly bothering you well, and not close to killing. Well, I just got Lunar Dance, so. Oh, good. There you go. Now, now everything is right in the world and I can be happy again. I can find peace and find my inner peace I've been searching for all these years. Why isn't my controller working? What happened? There it goes. Oh yeah, you're a controller boy. One of those new confangled controller guys I keep hearing about. There's the, right. the, the TikTokers and the controllers. 
I was waiting for you to yell at me. <laughs> I'm just like hating life against this Escavalier right now, which is like somehow like at full. It's it was at full HP, despite all I've gone through. It's at full HP because it's gotten Mega Drain, um, Mega Drain, then Synth Morning Sun, then Synthesis. I did Giga mm -hmm. Impact. I was like, oh, that'll be a big hit. And it did uh, maybe a sixth of its HP. Yeah, he fat. Should I battle this person yet? I don't know. I don't think so. Probably not. Dude, there were a lot more trainers here than I expected after you said three. Okay, did you, you know what? Sometimes people are just wrong, John. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it's so weird to me that like, uh, you know, like we went into this and I'm like, oh no, there's so many trainers, like I'll be fine. And I'm struggling my way 20 minutes into the episode. Like, man, I'm not even close. <laughs> and you just went in like 10 minutes. You're like, dude, uh, like, come on. Like now I need to do the gym. <laughs> like that's the weird thing with metronome. Like you can't really predict what you should do. Cause it's like, I, I don't know, man. This battle could take 30 minutes. All right, I got sky attack. Please just, no, it's healing again. <laughs> It's never oh, gonna die, It's man. dead! All right, thank God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that Escavalier would not die. It, it, it knew that it's like, oh, hey, we need to really bring these guys back to the same point. I'm gonna stall them, stall tactics. What, what can I do? What moves are at my disposal? Oh my God, that was insane. It genuinely got, it, it healed itself. It got Mega Drain on a grass type, then Morning Sun, then Synthesis, then a few turns later, Moonlight. It was absurd how many healing moves this thing freaking got. Yeah, no, that is. <laughs> yeah, Escavalier is one of those Pokemon that I feel like people forget how Bluck Bluck it truly is. Like, I really, really love Escavalier. It's a cool it's like Pokemon. My friend Paul, First time he played through uh, Gen 5, got a random shiny uh, Carablast, and so he used a shiny Escavalier on his team. That is very, very cool. Also, I, every battle in these like wild battles, like two to three of my Pokemon either die or almost die. I'm sick of it, man. Why? This so why are you doing wild battles? Oh, I'm doing the trainers. Then, so not wild battles. You know, uh, sometimes people misspeak. It okay, happens. But you still, <laughs> you still only, you still only have two deaths this episode, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. Oh gosh. Yeah. If I had more, that'd be really upset. All right. I think I still have like another trainer to go grab. All right, uh, guy. Let's go do my. If I recall rope. correctly, there are three workers, two youngsters, and a lass. That that sounds correct. Yeah, and I've struggled on every one of them. So. <laughs> Yikes. So it is, it's, uh, you know, it's been a time. I wouldn't say a good one, but it's definitely, like, we've been we've been playing. I've been talking. Apparently Stone Edge from a Houndoom Okoza Diglett. All right. Well, that, that was dumb. I got Frenzy Plant with Mewtwo on this Electivire. It left it with like two HP, and then of course the thing immediately uses uh, a healing move, and now it's back to half. <laughs> oh. Okay. Come on, Chloe. You've let me down a lot. Uh, all of the times, some would say. I confused three times in a row. This is where we bring it back. No, Hexa! Oh my god. Jeez. This Electivire got Spark and paralyzed me. Yeah, Electivire is a scary mod to see this early on. I do not want to see anything that's evolved numerous times. STOP PARALYZING MY DOG! God, this is terrible. Okay. Oh, don't... Oh. Man, I just watched a video trying to learn about Mammo Swine and VGC, and the guy was very upset about Ice School Crash always missing, and I was like, nah, I'll be fine, and now I'm missing Ice School Crash and uh, Metronome games, and they're milk drinking. I have no milk, and uh, this is terrible. This Electivirus pissed me off. It was one or two HP away from being dead, and now I'm forced to switch out my Mewtwo because I'm paralyzed and it keeps getting strong attacks on me. And he just got Venoshock on my freaking Exeggutor. Would it make you feel better if I told you I got Final Gambit? To put things into perspective a little bit? Because I got Final uh, Gambit. 
Sorry. <laughs> Fenile Gambito. Okay, well. This episode will be titled Struggle Bus. <laughs> oh no. Wow, all right, this stupid Electivire. I switch in Keldeo and he, of course, immediately gets Air Slash. What the hell is this Electivire? Uh, did he, he got the scouting report on your team. He knows what's up. Now he just got Luster Purge on my Keldeo. Okay, did less. Weird. Okay. Oh, did the Air Slash crit? Maybe that was what it was. Oh, I just got roll out. Okay, this thing is dead. Baton pass? I don't want a baton pass. I don't care about Fire Punch. Oh boy. The Electivire am, finally dies. I am beyond terrified to go into the gym after what- Why is another one of my Pokemon paralyzed? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what? My rollout missed on Typhlosion. Are you kidding me? That would have been so good. Okay. Everything is terrible. Everything is garbage. You find something you care about. Doing good in the metronome battles. And it's taken from, okay, all right, it's self-destructed. And it didn't kill Keldeo, let's go. All right. You find something I took an about. absolute beating. And things work out still, regardless for Mikey. Hey, I, I, lost, I got a death point in the first gym trainer battle. I just got two since that happened. Shh. Only means <laughs> now, John. <laughs> See, this is how we're gonna tell who's who gets the death points in our tracking document because Boom, followed by Crit Death, followed by Mikey Lunar Dance, followed by uh -huh. Finale Gambito. Yes. So mine are just going to be what happened. Uh huh. Yours are going to be whatever is in your mind at the time. All right, I mean, come on, let's say uh, boom. Uh, went boom. Crit Death. I mean, uh, yours are not yours are not wrong. <laughs> They're just not as descriptive. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, the game's the game, man. All right, Crooked Isle Man. With a spiel, I can beat up a small spiel. It's like a kickball. I can kick it to the moon. And back. All right. Oh, man. So are you, you're done with the trainers, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yellowing in. I'm going for the gym. Wow, okay. I, you know, my I'm here for my, it. My Pokemon are 14, 15, and 17, the ones I've been using. Yeah, and two of them are, one of them is Mewtwo, so I mean, yeah. You know. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm figuring it's like, do I try to do grinding on wild Pokemon and run the risk of something exploding? Sure. And then get more death points in the process of trying to prevent death points, you know? Yeah. I'm just going for it. Here it is, Roxy. Sure. Rock. Oh God, we've already been recording for 29 minutes. Oh, oops. <laughs> well, that's why I said what I said. I was like, huh, wow, right, he's going for it. Here for it. All right, her first Pokemon is an Abra. All right, that's uh, that's what uh, we'd call good luck. And I'm gonna switch to- Actually, Abra to... is weirdly strong. Its special attack is absurd, but all of its other stats are not very good. Well, right. So one decent strong. physical hit from Mewtwo and this thing is dead and Mewtwo should tank the psychic hits better. All right, Gunk Shot's physical, so this shouldn't really matter. Yeah, that didn't do very much. Okay, kind of wanted some good Pokemon to beat for the experience, but... String Shot. What are you going to do for a contact bar? Gallade, uh-oh. Galad. You need to, any okay. physical move will kill this thing. God dang it, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> what's ha I'm so curious, what's happening? Mewtwo is about to lose to an Abra <laughs> because the Abra has gotten ancient power and a crit luster purge while Mewtwo has used String Shot and Dream Eater. That's what I'm saying, man, Abra's strong. I know, strong guy. I, but any physical move will kill it and I can't, now it's getting bug buzz, are you kidding? <laughs> the most unlikely uh, terrifying Mon, Abra. This is absurd. <laughs> Mewtwo. Like, I keep having to heal him. I've had to heal him twice in a row now. 
What is the actual best Psych Okay, type? finally the Aberrant didn't attack. It just used Psych Up, which did nothing because I don't have any stat changes. Okay. Sky attack. Oh, yes. That that absolutely go. okos, unless something goes ridiculously wrong. It used Taunt. Okay, I should still be able to use Sky attack. I think so. That feels somewhat correct. All right, I o code it. All right. Okay, there you go. Oh, come on. I got disabled, but before they moved, so it didn't do anything. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Her second Pokemon is a Tepig. <laughs> what? No. Are you trying to tell me things are going your way over there? Because I, for <laughs> one, will not believe that for a second. Uh, sorry, pal. Um, <laughs> yeah, the gym trainers were monsters, and her Pokemon are unevolved Pokemon. See, the thing that always gets me when we do these is it's never that I get actually upset when I don't do well, is that I always know when I'm not doing well, you are going to be way more upset and it's never going to bite you in the butt. And then like, because I just get momentum, of course, again, it's like, th that's how this goes. <laughs> of you, like you just not being able, like you don't understand your luck is not bad in this situation. Like I had to heal twice, John. I tell you I used two potions. Have you ever used a potion? <laughs> well, Mikey, I used Memento for the uh, the second time. Um, <laughs> so I don't actually, because I can't use a potion on the dead Pokemon. You're right, sir. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I will absolutely not be going against this gym underleveled because I do not have that kind of luck. Yeah. <laughs> have you done the gym trainers at all or not yet? I just beat both of them. Okay. Are you gonna do it now or are you just gonna do it when we do the next episode? Yeah, I'm absolutely doing it next episode. Okay. <laughs> uh, after, uh, after a memento uh, there and underleveled mons that have been getting harassed by the ways of the bad luck, uh, I, I, th I think I I think I know when it's time to, to call it a uh, call the nap. I, the Tepig so far has actually been uh, not great. Oh, actually, I thought you just killed the Tepig immediately. No, I did not. I've yet to do a single turn of damage to it. All right, I'll go into the grass and watch my Pokemon explode. Good luck, pal. All right, Hound Doom. I, 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 it's copied my Nasty Plot stat changes, and also it used oh, Outrage, which forced me to heal multiple times. And I finally hit it with a resisted fire attack. <laughs> But if this thing gets a special psychic move, I think I just, Kelio just dies. And oh Kelio God. dies anyways, cause I use Memento. Oh God. That's two very quick mementos back to back. That is wild. It, just kill yourself oh, should, now, Tepic, when no one's on the field. Memento, the field. John, I should probably specify now that that's weirdly coincidental. Well, you just, while I'm doing this, you just go ahead and write Memento, Mikey. Yes. Need to just Mike. end it. It's a Tepig. Mike. Snapped out of its confusion Tepig. without hurting itself. High jump kick is fine. Okay. All right, uproar. That's good. That's. There we go. It's over. Okay. All right. It knocked Man, it Keldeo, out of the park. Keldeo has mementoed in two gym battles in a row. Do I just need to not use Keldeo in gym battles? <laughs> I, uh, Keldeo is like, it, this is, this is its a uh, little bit of a strike. It's it, it's pulling out on you. It's not going to uh, do any of the things, but memento, final gambit, and lunar dance. Yeah. Until oh, you raise the wages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. guys, that's where we're going to wrap it up for this episode. The next one will be on Pokemon 7 plays as usual. And by usual, I mean it's happened one time. It'll be the second time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah, subscribe to Pokemon 7 plays so you don't miss the next episode. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs>